here. So while um, before we start getting doing the setup for uh, for Blackbush, uh, who's coming up next, we're gonna hear uh, a couple minutes, uh, give you a taste of Kiss the Sky. So I want to bring up Farai Shadea. She's gonna like read a little bit uh, for a couple minutes, and uh, and then we're gonna go and hear some more great music. All right. We want to leave a document of this kind of cultural moment where you know I think that we are the kindling of a fire that will reshape culture and take it out of the, the kind of stale dead end that I think we had particularly because of the, um, the egocentric consumerism that you know really we thought we could tolerate until the crash. We thought, well, there's an endless amount of stuff. So what I'm gonna do, this book, Kiss the Sky, is my uh, attempt to do a U-turn in the cul-de-sac of life and reinvent myself. Um, I'm a journalist and I continue to be a journalist. I've done print television online with pop and politics. Right now, sometimes I guest host the takeaway on WNYC. But um, thank you. Um, uh, what I will say is that um, this is about a woman, a very flawed woman named Sophie Claire Lee, who I conjured out of my mind, who is a Baltimore raised, Harvard educated um, music video show host who hates her job. And she's a former indie rock. Um, underground star who was in a band with her husband who they broke up the band broke up because she had a serious he had a serious drug problem and during the process of this book they decide for reasons that I may or may not reveal later to get back together and it's a darkly comedic look with a lot of highs and lows so rather than you know this is like my little set the stage part and I'm only gonna read a, a, you know like less than a page but I figure we could have a little fun with this because it begins on page one and it ends on page 352. So get ready. First person to shout out a number between one and 352, I'll read part of that page. 48. 48. We have a winner. Let's see, page 48. Okay. Oh, this is a good one. This is her and her ex-husband just starting to collaborate again. It's not working. It's not working okay. Ari, her ex-husband, was always wanting to work on process. I wanted songs to be creatures that sprung out full form, no mess, no struggle. Ari reached out to touch me. Just then my phone rang, a shiny, expensive new phone, so small that sometimes I couldn't find it before it stopped ringing. I fumbled through my bag, dropped it on the floor, and picked it up. Hello? Are you high? Said the voice on the other end. Leo, her manager and new boyfriend. No, I said. Don't lie to me, he said. I'm not, I said. I'm just not feeling right. Why? Do I need a why? Did you go out drinking? It was almost a relief to have a truth to tell him. Yeah, I did. With the girls, there's some whack shit going on at work. I told you to stay away from the liquor, baby. First of all, you are big. We need to get you back in shape. Secondly, you're bloated. Third, it's not good for your mind. Do you hear me? I hear you, I said. One of my boys thought he saw you out last night, some punk rock club. New wave, I said, bar. Was Ari there? I snuck a look at Ari. No, but why do you ask?